Welcome everyone to Blessings of Ball Cards, episode 19, the final episode of our teenage years. Soon we'll have to move out and get our own apartment, start paying electric bills, and maybe even doing our own laundry. But for now, we're spreading the love on BBC. Yeah. Ew. No, not like that. But with giveaways, dad jokes, prayer, trivia, and baseball card rips. Before we start, let's get loose and do some, uh, shadow boxing. <laughs> yeah, nothing says I love you like throwing some air punches. Please stay away from your brother, sister, parents, or spouse during these exercises. I mean, it is an episode built on love for Pete's sake. Give yourself some room, shake it out, and get ready to box in three, two, one. Everyone okay? Whew. I'm sorry, parents. Let me make it up to you. Nothing says I love you more than a classic dad joke. Have you heard about the new restaurant on the moon? Yeah, great food, but no atmosphere. <laughs> oh, come on, that joke was out of this world. <laughs> it's, it's two for the price of one there. Bonus joke for the 90s kids. How do you track Will Smith in the snow? All you do is follow the fresh prints. <laughs> I'll throw something out trying to do that kind of stuff nowadays. Now Let's get to the agenda. At the end of the card table today, we will give some love to the basketball card giveaway winner. Let's go! Stay tuned, folks. It's sure to be a dandy. After we pray, we'll move on to our Bible lesson about love. In fact, we will unpack a very familiar verse that will get to the core of unselfish love in the two most important commandments in the Bible. After our lesson, we'll hose down the set because our card rips are fire today. No, really, they're fire. We're going to rip into the 2021 Topps Fire Baseball Hobby Box. These cards have some sweet designs which are quite a bit different than the typical Topps brand. But next, grab your family members and put your hands on your buzzers as we face off with some Bible and sports tidbits in a new segment of High Five Trivia. Welcome everybody, I have my two favorite kids in the studio, my plastic drumstick, and you, so let's get some trivia done here. This segment of High Five Trivia is brought to you by The Miraculous Signs of Jesus Christ Turning water into wine for over 2,000 years and still affecting your life in great ways today. Now let's move into BBC's High Five Trivia. We did change the format a little bit. We now have three Bible questions and two sports questions. So let's get started, shall we? Question number one is a Bible question, and it says, In what city was Jesus born? Was it A, Bethlehem, B, Nazareth, C, Jericho, or D, Orlando? Does anybody have any guess? Was Jesus a Florida baby? Hmm, probably should stay away from D. Okay, we have Griffin locked in with A, and Cohen locked in with A as well, and we have two winners. The answer is A. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Question number two. What are three consecutive strikes in bowling called? Is it A, a ringer? Is it B, golden? Is it C, turkey? Or is it D, licious? Is it delicious? Hmm. What can it be? We're three strikes in a row in bowling called. Okay, both are locked in right away already. And they both have C. Those turkeys are correct. It is a called a turkey with three strikes in a row in bowling. <laughs> Question number three. What city was Saul, also known as Paul, traveling to when he encountered the great and blinding light of Jesus Christ? Is the answer A, Cairo? B, Damascus, C, Jerusalem, or D, Los Angeles? Was, was Saul on his way to L.A.? Hmm. Hmm. What else? What else is there? We have some thinking going on. Okay, we have Cohen locked in. He says C, Jerusalem. And Griffin locks in with B, Damascus. Griffin's right in this case. It is B, Damascus. He was on the road to Damascus. Although, Cohen, I can see where you're coming from. I think he was coming from Jerusalem to Damascus. So, I 
see where you got confused. A little bit of trickery on BBC there. Okay. Question number four. What was banned in college basketball from 1967 to 1976? Was it A, three-pointers, B, slam dunking, C, tall socks, or D, short shorts? (laughs) What do we have here? For nearly a decade, what was banned in college basketball? Yeah, it's kind of a tricky one, isn't it? Okay, we both had them locked in. I see Cohen, who of course chose C as his default. He has tall socks and Griffin has short shorts, D. However, the correct answer, believe it or not, for nearly a decade in college basketball, the answer is B, slam dunking was banned because they considered it not a skillful shot. Do you imagine basketball today without dunking? Yeah. Okay, moving on to our last question. Question number five says, when Jesus walked on water, which disciple joined him on the water? Do we have A, Andrew, B, James, C, Peter, or D, Tim Tebow? Did he Tebow on the water? No? Fact check me. Got it? No? Okay. All right, not Tim Tebow. Who is it? Andrew, James, or Peter? What do we say? Cohen's thinking. Go with your gut. Okay, here we go. Both of them locked in. Both of them chose C, and they are both correct. Peter joined Jesus on the water, although he lost focus a little bit and started to sink. Jesus grabbed his hand and helped him back on the boat. To the winner, show him what he's won, Johnny. I'm glad you asked. Each contestant will receive one free Bible lesson from Blessings and Ball Cards. Stay tuned for more details. Now, back to you, Scott. I hope you all learned some fresh new factoids to keep that old noodle working well. Now let's show some love to the one that deserves all the glory. Please bow your heads for prayer. Dear God, please make me a Christian that loves other people with all my heart. Let me be a part of people's solution and not their problems. May the churches put differences aside to love and serve God with the spirit of unity. May pride, stubbornness, and selfish spirits be softened with your love, O God. Let me be a channel of blessing to people throughout the world so that your name can be praised today, tomorrow, and forever. And all God's children said, Amen. How can we pray for you? Let us know by leaving a comment below messaging us on Facebook, or emailing us at blessingsandballcards at gmail.com. Please know that we are here to help. Now, let's take a closer look at what the Bible tells us about love. All the people say... So, we're all aware of the Ten Commandments, right? But did you know there are exactly 613 commandments in the Bible? But there are two great commandments that are the foundation of every other biblical command. You might recognize them. They are love God and love people. So how does the Bible point to love as being the foundation of all the commandments? I'm so glad you asked. Allow me to uh, explain. We first hear of this in the Gospel of Matthew, where Jesus is speaking to the Pharisee. The Pharisees are a group of teachers who are very strict in the law, meaning the commandments. Have you ever had a strict teacher? Not fun, right? The Pharisees refused to believe that Jesus was the savior of the world. In fact, they were trying to trap Jesus into saying something that would be considered against their law in order to have him killed. Aren't you glad your teacher wasn't like that? Anyway, because of this trap, Jesus was able to teach the teachers about the root of all the biblical laws in which the Pharisees were so-called experts. Matthew chapter 22 verses 36 through 40 starts with the Pharisees asking a question to test Jesus' Bible knowledge. They asked, Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Now imagine Jesus surrounded by people literally trying to crucify him. It has to be an intense moment, right? But Jesus responds with the all-knowing, all-powerful love of God and says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. 
love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Christ instantly reveals to them the painful reality that their law is meaningless if its center is not built on love. Now here's the painful truth, friends. The Pharisee didn't just exist in Bible times. We reflect their rule obsessive and judging attitudes every day. So we should take this lesson very seriously. So instead of being a list of rules, the Lord emphasizes to the Pharisees and in turn us that all commandments are centered on loving God and loving people. All other commandments follow these two great commandments. They are the spiritual nucleus for a righteous life. Amazingly, God has given those who receive his son Jesus as their savior the ability to love as he does through the power of the Holy Spirit. How do we do that? <laughs> wow, you are asking some really great questions today. Turns out there's a very familiar verse that can help us with that question. We recite Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 every episode on Blessings and Ball Cards. It's not just our mission statement, it's also the foundation of how we're called to love like Jesus. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Jesus Christ left his position in heaven to live his life in the flesh as a servant. He lived a humble life, faced temptation, endured persecution, and died on the cross for us, all in perfect obedience to God the Father. That is the ultimate display of love. Jesus is love. So rather than looking out for old number one, as the saying goes, we are to care for others as Christ cares for us. We are to love others whether they are fellow believers or bitter enemies. Think of those that you love. You often feel a spiritual and maybe even emotional bond with them. How would our lives be changed? How would even one day be changed if we were actively, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally devoted to God? It would have an overwhelming positive impact on all of those around us. This type of love is called agape. A-G-A-P-E. Hey, Thanks for the assist, Taylor. This type of love, agape, does not come naturally to us. Because of our fallen nature, we are incapable of producing such love on our own. That kind of love can only come from one source. You guessed it. God. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, all connected by love to each other. It is our duty to give glory to God by striving to show that type of love to all people in all circumstances. And I believe that together we can make the world a better place by showing this type of love. Thanks for joining our Bible lesson. And I hope that this lesson has motivated you to love more unselfishly with respect, grace, and mercy to others as Jesus loves you. Now, let's kick the tires and light the fires because it's time to follow that beat all the way to the card table. Our card table sponsor for this episode is Height Camp Homes. Height Camp Homes provides new home construction, home remodeling, design, and window replacement services for the Northwest Ohio area. Since 1997, Height Camp has been providing quality craftsmanship for a wide range of projects as well as being very active in their community. This family-owned business is rooted in their faith and character and we appreciate what they bring to their customers and to their community. Thank you to the entire Height Camp Homes family for your support of this ministry so we can help those in need. Welcome to the card table everybody. It is the middle of winter outside but it is an inferno down here. We are opening the 2021 Topps Fire Hobby Box. It's sure to be a good time and it's gonna bring a whole new meaning to the hot seat. In fact, in the hot seat right now, we have Cohen up to bat. So Cohen, go ahead and split up the cards and get started. Here we go, pack number one. Ooh, these are cool cards. Those are cool cards. Told you, they're gonna be a lot different than your standard Topps card. Nice Kristen Pache rookie right there. Ooh, Trevor Bauer. Ooh, another good rookie. Ooh, different ones, too. Alec Baum. Oh, that Fernand. one is sweet. 
fired up Tatis Jr. That one is awesome. That one is so cool. Man, you got a Cabrian Hayes? This is a loaded pack right here. This pack is on fire. Get it? <laughs> yeah, it's a box. So, <laughs> another dad joke. That was a great first pack, and here we go with pack number two. Berrios. <laughs> it's like Cheerios. Ooh, Spencer Howard. That's a cool one. Rookie in commission. Maybe pack three, what's in here? What is it? Congratulations. Fire autograph. Yes. There's our first auto, everybody. Who is that? Ryan Weathers for the Padres. Good pull, Co. Thank you. Oh, here's a Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper, what pack are we in? Jones and Chipper? Jones. Chipper yeah, Jones. Chipper Jones. That's really That's sweet, nice oldie one. but goodie. We scored pretty good in those first two packs. Let's see yeah. if we can pick it up here at the end. Pack number six coming at you. Here we go. The Aaron judge. judge. Another liftoff, Christian Yelich. Yeah, look at That's the way that cool shines. One. That is a nice card. I like the liftoff ones. Pack seven. Their auto. <laughs> That's a nice one. It's still a sticker auto, but it's a rookie too. Nice, rookie auto there. Pack number nine. Now, let's, let's see what is in pack 10. Beautiful cards. Good pulls, Cohen. Now we're gonna move on, though, to put somebody else in the hot seat, and that somebody is going to be the Galloping Griff. Dripping <laughs> into pack number one of the 2021 Topps Fire Hobby Box. McCutcheon. And Andrew McCutcheon. Oh, you got an Apostle. Check that out, there's 13 of them, I guess. The Brian Hayes Rookie Parallel. That is sweet. Javier Baez. Welcome to the Tigers, my friend. And Hyun Jin Ryu. You say those so well, I don't know how you do it. Trey Turner. Griffin's got a great idea. He can see the names better this way. Akil Badu. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? See, dads are just supposed to take it the extra level. I mean, we just, it's not just caring for your family and paying bills and dad jokes. It's taking it to that, you know, that almost embarrassing level, teetering on completely dumb. Miguel oh, Cabrera. Right. And I'm excited about this next one. Ken Griffey Jr. Pack five, let's do this. Let's make it a hot pack. Jesus Aguilar. Ouch, ouch, does it hurt your fingers? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> pack six, here it comes. Call the fire department. Ura. Holy cow, number to 25. I think I need to put that in a sleeve. Ooh. Sleeve that one up. What's up, Buster? Pack kids. number seven. We are having fun with this fire pack. The only time I let my kids play with fire. <laughs> Francisco Lindor. Parallel. Frankie. That's a nice looking card. Pack number nine coming at you. Who do we have? Christian Yelich. Yes, Yelly. Ryan Mountcastle. One of the top rookies Rookie. in the class. Alec Baum number to 99. Wow. Ooh. Stud rookie number to 99 parallel. Another good way to end. Wow, what a 10th pack for Griffin there. That was a sweet pull. Totally on fire. But right now we are going to go back to the desk.
And now it's time for the winner of our basketball car giveaway from episode 18 featuring two 2021 Panini Chronicles draft picks hanger boxes as well as the Curry and Doncic cards. We ask that you tell us your New Year's resolution in the comments. With the help of our friends at commentpicker.com, the winner of the basketball card giveaway from Blessings and Ball Cards is... Shaw Racing Collects. Congratulations to our winner and thank you to those that entered. Stay tuned for future giveaways and make sure you are subscribed with your notifications turned on so you know when we release exciting new videos. That rip was in fuego. Thanks again to our sponsor for generously donating to our channel. Do you want to find some lit cards for your collection at hot prices? Head over to our eBay store by clicking in the link in the video description, find the link from our Facebook page, or type in the address behind me. Over at our merchandise store, it's your last chance to snag that wonderful BBC Christmas shirt. In both short and long sleeve options, this shirt will add cheer to your holiday season for years to come. Sales of this shirt will end on March 1st. And as we transition soon from winter to spring, we have a new activewear dry fit shirt that will be introduced in our next episode. It's sure to please. Finally, if you would like to make a donation to Blessings and Ball Cards to help those in need or sponsor a card table, you can Venmo us at scott-bbc. For sponsorship details, please email us at blessingsandballcards at gmail.com or message us on Facebook. Join us for our one-year anniversary episode in April to see how the glory of God has moved through your generous giving. We appreciate your support and we love you all. As always, the glory of this channel belongs to God. That's a wrap, folks. We'll see you around like a record. In the meantime, try to treat others just as Jesus would treat you. Until we meet again, remember to love God and love people.